Sandman. I am Asazoth, the negative and evil aspect of Yesh. I am what you call God. I am the creator, the nuclear sultan. Yes, yes. I imagine you must be scared that I am a gigantic mass of flesh and tentacles instead of a white-bearded, anthropomorphic god. But this is the reality, my son. I am your father and the father of everyone and everything. With my other hands I created everything, and with these hands I will destroy everything. Azathoth, also known as the Lovecraftian primordial god, the nuclear sultan, chaotic shadow twin of god, and the all-seeing horror, is the primordial outer god who exists as the embodiment of madness, chaos, disorder, and boundlessness, being the ultimate enemy of creation, the supreme antithesis of order and peace. He is the anti-god who in the end times upon his awakening will destroy all of creation. Azathoth is the incarnation of madness itself, representing all elements, aspects, concepts and ideas under the category of chaos and disorder. The primordial chaos become the outer god who rules the darkness and evil, becoming the creator of the old ones. Azathoth is one of the original members of the three great gods, which means he is one of the most powerful entities in all of existence, rivaling the creator, and the cows. Azathoth is currently in eternal slumber, slumbering deep in the outer verse, with all beings, including the old ones themselves, wanting him to remain slumbering forever. It is said that the day Azathoth awakens will return the world to its primordial state of absolute zero, the primordial chaos that is Azathoth. Azathoth is a character that was created by horror writer, Howard Lovecraft. In books, he is the creator of the Old One and the primordial personification of chaos and nothingness itself, being also the initial cause and the final cause of creation. It is believed that Azathoth gave birth to the universe as we know it, that when he fell into a deep sleep, the nuclear chaos in his subconscious, within his deep sleep, caused an incredibly hot and dense singularity that expanded, an expansion so strong that it, it can be felt to this day. Azathoth would also have had children, the most famous of them being Nyarlathotep, who was also, possibly, who gave the revelations about the Sultan and creation to Lovecraft. Some believe that several mystical events that happened in the past were very dangerous attempts to try to summon Azathoth, for example the Great Flood and the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah recorded in the Bible. Some seers and prophets who predicted the Earth's destruction may have seen a manifestation of Azathoth, which unlike other times, the planet could not resist this time. Azathoth currently remains in deep sleep, sleeping eternally, or at least that's what everyone wants, because if all creation came into existence when he lay down to sleep, then when he wakes up the Sultan will stop dreaming and everything will return to non-existence. Azathoth has been compared to the God of the Bible, as both are omnipotent, omnipresent and omniscient. However, Azathoth seems to be a dark version of the God of the Bible, being even compared to the Demiurge, a dark entity who created the universe out of chaos, making the universe a chaotic and unpleasant place to live. Azathoth is chaos, that which contains all things in a latent, unmanifest state. We can say that before manifestation, chaos keeps things in a latency that is only one degree from non-existence. It is the abyss from which all things originate, where they will return at the end of their age. Azathoth is the most intense form of existence, pure being, unbounded by form or reaction, but this existence belongs to a different type from the one we are used to, appearing, therefore, as non-existence, because it does not match any of the requirements which in our view determine existence. Azathoth is a cosmic, limitless deity of multiversal proportions and the great and all-powerful ruler of the Old Ones. He is omnipotent and beyond the power of the great Old Ones such as Cthulhu, and even their most direct descendants as outer gods, including Yogg-Sothoth, as well as all other beings throughout the multiverse. Among extraterrestrial nations, Azathoth was worshipped by alien races who were known to be infinitely more cruel and bloodthirsty than earthlings. His followers worshipped him as their god and tried several times to invoke Azathoth, with once they succeeded, with the result that Azathoth destroyed the entire planet along with the rest of the solar system. The manifestation of Azathoth turned out to be so massive that millions of stars began to orbit Azathoth, 
with this manifestation of the Sultan being known as Tonant Sintla 618 or Tun 618. Being the creator of the Old Ones, he has been feared, yet revered greatly by his children, servants, and those worships him. The Great Old Ones and Outer Gods are trying to awaken Azathoth again. There can be no definitive or true description of Azathoth because everyone sees him differently and he is always changing with the beholder, an effect that also occurs with God. When interacting with humanity, Azathoth primarily takes the form of a wizened old man with flowing black robes and two horns on his head. His eyes are described as guarding within all the secrets of existence and non-existence, gleaming aggressively with godlike power compared to none. His voice is said to be real and thunderous, with words demanding the fear and awe of those around him. One of Azathoth's manifestations in creation has been described as a colossal singularity engulfing everything around it, from planets, stars and even solar systems as large as Earth's, swallowing even the light itself. Its mass had been estimated to be 66 billion times more massive than the Sun, that is, more massive than the Triangulum Galaxy itself, with a light as bright as 140 trillion suns. However, due to the enormous distance between this manifestation of Azathoth and the Earth, its size could be much larger, Earth scientists called this manifestation of nuclear chaos, Tun, 618. When making his appearance in Howard Lovecraft's vision, Azathoth looked like a giant humanoid figure made entirely of faceless flesh and bones. Azathoth is described by Randolph Carter as reminiscent of Jupiter's surface with countless spiraling spots overlapping over one another. It is still unknown what is his true personality, and has been yet to be revealed. Being imprisoned for countless billion years since the time of the War of Creation, his mind has been damaged for many years of imprisonment through the void of the Outerverse. It is revealed that he is the complete opposite and the true shadow of God, and the physical and madness manifestation and counterpart of cows. He is also known for being the first living embodiment of megalomania, malevolence, evil, darkness, chaos, destruction, etc. It is not possible to have an exact description of Azathoth's personality, after all he is an unconscious entity eternally, without showing any emotion or feeling. However, the few emotions that the Sultan is able to show demonstrate a little how terrible the real Azathoth is. The Chaos God is a totally impersonal and amoral entity, not caring about anything or anyone, not feeling empathy even for his children or consort, seeing them only as insignificant rats that are part of him, something he hates and despises. Deep down, Azathoth is sadistic and willing to kill or sacrifice anything or anyone for his own amusement. Of all the entities in creation, the being that Azathoth hates the most is, without a shadow of a doubt, God, with his greatest desire being to bring all creation to its primordial state of absolute nothingness from which according to Azathoth it should never have left. Azathoth's hatred is so great that it is considered to be worse than Ion, who is the personification of evil, but the evil that is essential, the evil that God uses to bring balance to the world, while Azathoth is the mad evil the evil without purpose or aim, other than to harm everything around him even if it costs himself to harm himself. Because of this, it is believed that the only entity Azathoth hates almost as much as he hates God is himself, with his ultimate goal being in the end times to take every human, angel, demon, nephilim, nephilim, yokai, tulpa, divinity, aeon, old one, primordial, pre-existential and finally, himself to the state of absolute zero and non-existence in which the world was in its most primitive and basic state. Azathoth will kill everyone at the end of it all, and he will kill himself to return himself to nothingness. Nyarlathotep mentions that Azathoth is an ontological force, that as God is the deity of love and kindness, Azathoth is the old one of hate and evil, with his purpose being to destroy everything that exists, including himself. The Creeping Chaos goes on to say that this has happened many times, probably thousands of times, and nothing has ever changed and will never change, and that is a law that even God and Azathoth obey, the law of cycles.